Hey guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're jumping back into our final episode of Better Minecraft. guys chosen architect here again i just wanted to say if you are a patreon be sure to get your world download this is the last world download it'll be linked down in the description below so be sure to check that out also while you're down there if you're not already a patreon be sure to check out some of those awesome links there is some awesome stuff down there including my twitch which i do live stream monday tuesday thursdays and fridays and i also have a beautiful discord that i would love for you to join we do have a lot of cool stuff also if you're a patreon be sure to join our new server that uh, has just launched we do have a new supporter server that is vanilla it is awesome we've been all hanging out on there so i hope to see you guys there and of course let's get on with today's video humble beginnings we started this mod pack literally with nothing with nothing and at this point we're riding bears like that's how crazy we've gotten in this pack. i know a bear honestly compared we have dragons <laughs> We have dragons, uh, but anyways, I, I love I love just throwing that out there. Just literally just getting hyped about the bear when we have all these dragons over here just chilling. Um, but I did want to say that this we we really come a long way in this mod pack. I, I believe that I have covered just about every little piece of content that I can nearly get out of this pack. Um, there's a lot of awesome stuff that is in this pack, and it has been a really fun experience simply because it's just been different. Uh, from what I have been doing recently. So a lot of the mod packs that I've been playing recently, they kind of felt a little, uh, bit the same. A lot of the same mods, a lot of the same things going on. Um, but, uh, this has definitely felt really different. And they kind of touched on some mods, little hidden gems, um, uh, and stuff. And I also got to dive a little bit deeper into some of the mods that I would have probably normally not really dove into. Right, Mr. Cal? But yeah. So let's go over some of the stuff that we've done. Let's take a look at some of our builds and just sort of soak this in for a moment. Just like kind of reminisce about some of the uh, the cool things that we've done. Let's start off here with our base because, man, yeah, Chosen's Cozy Cottage literally describes it perfectly. This cottage, this build has been one of my favorites. It may be small. But it's packing a whole lot of personality in this little bitty package. Um, I, I was able to fit just about everything that I needed to get through this pack in this area, including making a like an actual kitchen, actual usable storage space. I mean, it, it's worked. Access to our mine, literally everything is here. I mean, our bed, our lovely blobby. We have a lamp that we can turn on and off. Like, extra storage. This storage lasts us for a while, by the way. All of this storage up here. Places. I mean, we have our, our globe that we've kept, and it even survived a fire. This house survived a fire. I uh, I had made some mistakes. <laughs> mistakes were made. Um, we lost a lot of armor. We did lose a few sets of armor that I wish I would have had. Um, this is, of course, our most powerful set of armor. Uh, there is more powerful sets of armor in this pack, if you do feel like the unnecessary level of grind, in my opinion. Um, but they are available. I honestly, instead of armor, I would go for the Ring of Ghosts. It is the the most beautiful thing that exists. Of course, this right here has to be one of the most off-camera used builds because I use this more off-camera than on-camera, especially for the leather and sheep and all those things. And of course, this guy did some work when we built our Ender Farm. Um, and then, of course, we have all of our dragons that we have acquired over time. And I have to say, favorite dragon by far has to be our ghost dragon. I mean, look at the wings. The wings are, it's beautiful. Even when it's harnessed, I mean, this dragon, by far, my favorite. And these dragons are pretty wicked. Look at the chest piece on that bad boy. Yeah. Oh man, just just good, just good, good all around. Um, so 
what did we do after we built our base? Well, we started to adventure a little bit. And we got a whole lot of adventuring done. Let me go ahead and make this guy sit. Um, and we started to venture into some new dimensions. Um, of course, after we visited the nether, there's a lot of cool stuff in the nether. But some of the highlights that I, I, I liked of this pack was this mod. Believe it or not, this was one of my favorites. The blue sky mod. Ha I mean, honestly, spot on with bosses. Spot on. Um, of course, a lot of there's a little bit of repetitiveness between both of these dimensions, but I have to admit, it it didn't feel it didn't feel really grindy. It felt really good. And uh, let's take a dive into. I mean, I, I just it just I don't know. I I really like the spider. I mean, these are all of our trophies, by the way, from all the stuff that we killed. Um, the Starlet Crusher, by f I, I think that one was my favorite. Um. That was the wood guy that come out that had uh, the the axe, or you had to chop down the area. He was really fun. If you haven't checked out that video, definitely go check that out, because um, that was super, super fun. And that was in the uh, the Everbright Dimension, um, because I waited a little bit to do the spider one, because of the sheer like repetitiveness of going through the dungeons. But I have to say, Blue Skies, mm, what a good mod, what a good gem, a little hidden gem. Now, let's not forget our kangaroo army and our kangaroo friends. However, not not really used. Kang Thor over here. Man, always just looking looking super dope. I just wanted to mention that. When it comes to really cool mobs, I have to say Alex Mod really pulled it clutch in this pack. Like the 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 sheer amount of variety of mobs and the things that they can do. So good. Like look at this thing. Look at that model. There is, I mean, beautiful, beautiful, like the cockroaches, just beautiful mobs all around. Look at that beautiful cockroach in that jar. Mmm, lovely. And then, of course, our eagle or falcon of justice, our blob, all those things are from the Alex mob, uh, Alex mod. Like so many cool things. The bear, like this bear is crazy. I mean, crazy hungry for honeycombs. There you go, buddy. Get you a honeycomb. Get, you gonna eat your honeycomb? I feel like my backpack's picking it up. There he goes. Look, I mean, look at this dude. He just... <laughs> they did change the model. He just... <laughs> I think I like the old model better. <laughs> it's... I mean, he's just hungry for honeycombs. So cute. Uh... But yeah, the Alex mob, there was just, Alex mobs had so much to offer. Um, and another mob, uh, mod that we had in here, of course, was the birds. A little underused in my opinion, but definitely added some ambience as we adventured through this pack. Like, there was a lot of times where it was nice to see some birds just e either setting in the water or, or just hanging out on the land. So, uh, having that nice little variety as you explored was pretty handy. Now, there's definitely some things that uh, kind of left under the radar after they were built. Um, but one of them was the Enderman farm that I used often. Now, I may not have shown this on camera much, but this was my main source of experience. I mean, just look at these Endermen. They are not happy at all that I'm here. Uh, but, I mean, it really offered an excellent source of experience. And, of course, how could we forget our underground village? These guys were the best. Honestly, getting mending right away and also getting vein mining probably made this pack so much better. Um, along with getting efficiency six on this pickaxe, that also helped a lot. Getting efficiency six was a special trade. Um, unfortunately, I don't see any of the, the little guys laying around. But man, efficiency six made my life so much easier because I didn't have a need for beacons then. Because beacons just become a mess. You just need a beacon after beacon when mining, and then, oh man, the, don't even don't even get me started on it. And let's not forget about the abyss. Oh man, what a what a trippy dimension. What a place, right? This place, still, just super creepy, super weird. Everything is just, just just dark and and spooky and like, yeah, that's that's probably the best way to describe this. Dark and spooky, 100% sums it up completely. You know, another amazing part about this pack had to be the end. 
Um, this is my first time, honestly, exploring the Better End Forge mod. It's it's beautiful. Like it is honestly such a cool ad. <laughs> I mean, these vents are so detailed. Like I was blown away when I went down there and actually realized there's there's actual like venting structures down at the bottom. Like how cool is that? And I mean, just all the detail that is in all of these biomes is absolutely insane with this mod. And it looks so good with shaders, unbelievably good with these shaders. Now, last but definitely not least, our underground village. The, I mean, it's, it's separate from the other underground village, but our underground base. This project, I spent a lot of time on, like, honestly, to, to build all this stuff and clear everything out. Takes a lot of time, takes a lot of time. And I did this at the end of the pack because I was really looking for a project. I didn't want to leave this pack. I, I felt that I would, I would leave it feeling very empty if I didn't play with the underground stuff that I kept seeing. Like, I, I was like, man, this pack seems to be all about the underground caves and I never took advantage of it. Well, I did, I did. Uh, the last couple episodes, you can of course check them out if you haven't already. Right here, take a look at this. I absolutely love this build. Um, so if you're wondering like, where do I get my ideas? Honestly, this, I, I was trying my be best to come up with an idea um, and uh, it didn't take too long for me to go, you know what? I think I'm gonna build some sort of a, a bridge around this. I filled this in with water. This, this didn't have water in it. Um, I manually hand filled all that, created a pond and then built this around it and decided to go with, uh, some modded blocks for, for these houses. Of course, this is interior. This does have an interior as you can see. Um, yeah, I thought this would look pretty decent in here. And I was like, man, I should get more buildings set up. Um, I still think there should probably be some more buildings added here, but for, for what it's worth. This is pretty nice. Also, the, I like these little shelves. They can they can hold your armor and stuff. Um, but yeah, this wasn't all though. I decided that I wanted to take this a bit further and expand and also get some uh, unique villagers in here that I did use. We ended up actually using it last episode when we made this sword. Um, we ended up using these special villagers. So uh, more villagers add so much stuff uh, into here that honestly people just I always hear it all the time. They go, man, I wish there was a wood villager or something like that along those lines. This adds that, like this mod adds all of those features. Um, if I can find some of the villagers, of course they wander all over the place. They should stay near their station, but sometimes they get lost. I think there's some villagers down here. Yeah, here's some villagers. So <laughs> we have Earl, um, this one right here. It's a redstone engineer. Which literally you can buy and sell redstone stuff. Pretty awesome, right? Um, and then of course we have this one, which is like a florist. I didn't uh, level that one all the way up. We did, however, level this one up. Look how crazy these trades are. You can buy dragon heads. You can buy, buy dragon's breath. This one's probably the most OP villager of them all. Shulker shells. Uh, that would break vanilla. Like that would break in raiding. If it's sold in Elytra, that would probably put it even like even more over the top. Honestly, one of my favorite villagers though, by far. Because <laughs> uh, when we need a dragon's breath, I was like, oh, I was going to refight the dragon. Nope, I just bought some. It's super, super awesome. Uh, but all of these builds was set up to house these guys. And as you can see, a lot of work went into this. All of this grass and dirt had to be manually placed in here. I did fill this with glass. I'm not a whore. I'm not 100% satisfied with the way this turned out. But... Everything else, I believe, I mean, I, I love this for the villagers areas. Just kind of let them roam free, hang out, chill. And of course, I had to smack a giant sea over here just to let everybody know in gold that uh, I'm super rich inside the game. I have all the gold just to let those villagers know, don't mess with me, this is my lands. But no, that's a little Easter egg for you guys. Uh, when you guys download the world yourself, or if you want to download the world. But man, what a fun pack. I have to say, this pack definitely hit the spot. I was needing the, uh, a little bit of adventure uh, and and some uh, some nice, some stuff that was a little bit different than what I had been playing recently. So I have to say, this mod pack definitely hit that spot. I hope it hits the spot for you guys if you guys have been playing along. And uh, I look forward to hanging out with you guys in uh, whatever I decide to play next. 
So uh, if you would, let me know down in the comments below what mod pack you would be interested in seeing me play next. Of course, uh, leave that down in the comment below. Of course, I always check the comments. Believe it or not, I am ever present in the comment section. It seems like in all of my free time, that's what I'm doing. My wife's like, what are you doing on your phone? I'm like, I'm checking, checking my comments. And she's like, oh, okay. So you're always working. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I want to say a huge shout out this time, this episode to all of my patrons, all of you guys who have supported me along the way. I just, I have to say a thank you. You guys are what allow these episodes to go longer than 30 episodes. You guys are what allow and give me the inspiration that I need in order to continue doing what I do. Um, without you guys, I don't know what I would do. Uh, but I just wanted to give a huge thanks to you. Also, all of you guys who click that subscribe button, you guys are also the best. Because without that subscribe button, I wouldn't have a clue who my audience is. But because you guys click that, of course, I get to see that number. I get to see that rise. I get to know that there are people out there who enjoy what I do. And that also gives me encouragement every time I make a video. So guys, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to, uh, of course, my patrons and those of you who have subscribed to the channel. Um, absolutely amazing. And uh, well, thank you guys. And you know what? I hope to see you guys in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.